Hello. Today we're going to uh, go over um, some some more HTML uh, basics. Uh, in the last tutorial here, you'll see what we did. Uh, we just kind of went over some of the tags and what they look like. Um, today we're actually going to make a a very simple web page. Um, uh, here in this uh, document, we have some basic elements of the page. These are HTML, declaring that this is an HTML document and everything inside here is going to be HTML. And the head, this is where some of the page uh, attributes that aren't uh, displayed on the browser page uh, itself will go. Things like the title. Uh, the title is what shows up in the actual kind of browser bar here at the, or at the top of the uh, browser. And uh, in this tutorial we're going to be using Dreamweaver again. Um, again, here's our code view. This is the preview, and we'll also be um, utilizing Firefox to see what it actually looks like in the browser. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is change the title. And uh, if we save this, uh, you'll notice nothing in the preview here. But if we go to the browser and we refresh the page, um, this will put our page title here and here. Everything we're going to be doing today is going to be in the body tags and uh, what is in the body is anything that we want to be previewed on the page or shown on, uh, displayed on the page. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our header and we're just going to use a heading one tag. see over here and we have our awesome header and the next thing we're gonna do is make some content and lastly we're going to make our footer Okay, now this is, a, of course, very basic. Um, what we will do um, in this tutorial is also we're going to set it up to be uh, modified with CSS. We're not going to do any CSS really today. Um, we're going to move on to that in the next tutorial, but we're going to make sure this document is set up for it because we're going to be using it in the next tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make divs for each of our areas of the site. So we're going to make a div that wraps around the header and another div that wraps around the content and a div for the footer. Uh, of course this won't change anything aesthetically uh, in the preview here, we will see um, some dotted lines just to show us that these are the divs. Um, and next, what I want to do is we're going to make another div, and this is going to be for our main navigation. And inside here, we're going to have some links. And you're going to see here is our link. And uh, a very basic uh, way to make a, a navigation is to just divide or separate each link uh, element with like a dash or the uh, vertical bar. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this a couple times or paste it a couple times. And we'll just make some standard um, navigation elements. And of 
course these uh, files that we're linking to do not actually exist. Um, this is just for your reference. Um, so here now we have our navigation. We'll save it and preview it in the browser. And here's our website. The next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to do some commenting. How you set up your commenting um, is really up to you. Some people will put comments above the elements, uh, some will put them next to an element. Um, in this example I'm just going to do them above. What's most important though is to just kind of come up with a, a standard way to do it for yourself. Um, so that you can recognize elements in all of your documents. Um, if you do it you know, on top and one, on the side another, and you know, whatever. Uh, it can get confusing every time you open up one of your documents that you might have done a long time ago. Uh, it just makes it easier to find uh, find what you're doing. Okay. Lastly, um, I just added uh, some generic content. Uh, I got rid of what we we had in there before. This will help us when we. Uh, go into add CSS to get a better idea of uh, what we're working with here. I'm going to get rid of a couple of these paragraphs. Uh, there we go. Um, one thing we can do here is maybe add some headings. And then maybe another heading here subheading and this kind of like I said it breaks up the content so it's a little more digestible um, this is a very common dummy text uh, I believe it's Latin uh, you'll see it on a lot of CSS templates and things like that uh, I have no idea what it says, hopefully nothing vulgar. Uh, and that is it for this tutorial.